Hi there. Welcome to another video of Code Hunters. In today's video, we will see how to use for loop and if condition in Power Automate desktop. So let's begin. I have opened Power Automate for desktop. Let's click on this new flow button here to create a new flow and let's give it a name. I will give it for and if and click on this create button. While it creates the workspace for us, let's see the data that we will use. Here I have an Excel file with 10 records of employee. We want to read this Excel sheet and we will display the first name and the salary of the employees whose salary is less than 5000. So in our case, it should show us this record. It should show us this Taisha the name and the salary of 3000. Okay, let's build this flow. I will close this Excel file and go into our flow designer, which is now ready. The first thing we need to do is to read the Excel file. For that, let's search for the action called launch Excel and drag and drop into our designer panel. It needs two parameter. First is the launch Excel and we can select that we want to open an existing document or open the following document. Next it needs the document path. We'll paste the path of the file here. We can also keep this path in a variable if you want but for the simplicity we are directly giving the path here. The next parameter is make instance visible toggle. If you switch it on, you will be able to see the Excel, else it will be working on the background. Next is the read only as the name implies. If you want to open the Excel in a read only mode, then switch it on. Now let's see the options that are available in our advanced section. If this option is selected, it will be a unique instance. This comes in handy when we want to work with Excel macros or add-ins. The next is the password. If the Excel is password protected, then you can provide the password here. This section will return as the instance in a variable which is already defined as excel instance if you want you can click here to change the name of this variable i will keep it as it is and click on the save now we have the excel file open and we want to read data from it so let's search for read from excel and drag and drop it the first parameter here is the excel instance we have it is already selected now we want to retrieve what do we want to retrieve? We want to retrieve all the available values from the worksheet and let's go into advanced tab and select this one. First line of the range contains the column names as we have the column names in our first row. The variable produced is a data table and the name of the data table variable is Excel data. I prefer to provide DT in front of the data table variables. So click here to edit and type DT in front of it and click on the save. Now we have the Excel data in our data table, DT Excel data, and we want to loop through each of its row. So let's search for another action, which is called for each and drag and drop it. And it needs to know which values to iterate. So we can select our variable that is, it needs to iterate the Excel data variable. Click on this and click on select and click on save. So before clicking on the save, you can see it will store the current item in a current item variable, which we'll need in our next steps. Let's click on save now. Now this will loop through each of the item in our data table. So inside this we need to check if the salary is less than 5000. So for that let's search for another action called if and drag and drop into our workflow here. And the first operand is required which is the current item and we need to provide the column name which is salary. and it should be less than 5000 and then we can click on the save so this will be our condition so if the condition is true then we need to show the message so for that let's search for the message it is called display message drag and drop into here and first it needs message box title we'll give it as uh, employee details and message to display will be let's the current item from the variable and we need to first give the first name and has salary of then current item and then salary uh, we need to put it in a quotes 
and that's it. Let's click on the save. Now we have completed all the actions required on our excel file. So we'll go ahead and close the excel file. For that we'll search for close excel and drag and drop it after our for loop. And the instance is same and we don't want to save the document, we can click on the save. Now, now if we recap our code, what we have done is, we have launched the Excel, the file name is temp employee data.xlsx and next we have read data from the Excel sheet, kept it in a DT Excel data and then we are looping through this Excel and then we are checking each row if the salary is less than 5000 or not. If it is less than 5000 then we are displaying a message and we are coming out. So let's click on the run and it is now opening the excel file, it has opened it, it should now read it, so it has read the data and it is looping through it and here you can see Taisha has a salary of 3000 and no one else has the salary of less than 5000 and it has closed the excel file. So this is how you can use for loop and if cut power automate for desktop. Hope this helps and I will see you in the next video.